Hello Capricorn, welcome to your general love reading and also welcome to my channel Innate Wisdom. This is Agnes, I'm an intuitive and a tarot card reader. I do general love readings for the collective and also for each zodiac sign bi-weekly. If you enjoy my videos, please consider giving them a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to my channel. Now these messages are going to be general and may not resonate for all of you. So let's get started with this general love reading for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. Let's start with your person. Let's see what they're up to right now. What's their general attitude towards this situation? And we have a surprise card. Let's see what this is, the Ace of Cups. Okay, we have Death, which is the transformation here in the Good Tarot, and also the Ten of Pentacles. So... Even though it seems like the two of you are after a breakup or a separation right now, maybe uh, you're going through some uh, difficult times, but I feel like this person um, loves you and they want to bring back stability and they want to reconnect. And, you know, Ace of Cups, um, they want to come back towards you from the heart. This is something that they truly wish. Uh, this wish is coming from their heart. They want to reconnect. They want to be connected to you. And the Ace of Cups also symbolizes that type of love that's, that's um, you know, mutual. You, you have this feeling for each other. And the Ten of Pentacles indicates that this uh, commitment is what they want from you. They want to stabilize this relationship. They, this is how they imagine their future. They imagine their future with you. So let's get some clarifications. And for that, I'm going to be using a different deck. And this is going to be the Paulina Tarot. So let's see what we need to know about this transformation card. Because, you know, the death card in the tarot, it could indicate that it's the end of something. It's the end of a cycle, for example. But it, like the card says here, transformation, something is changing. Something is going through changes. Maybe your person is leaving something behind and um, it feels like they want to it's almost like they want to start their lives over with you. So let's see what we need to know about this death card. Okay, we have a card popping out and this is the Empress. So whatever didn't work in the past, I feel like this person really wants to work it out and they want to deepen their connection with you. Mm, the Empress card also brings a whole lot of creativity. Mm, it feels like this person really wants their future with you. They want a family with you, a home with you. Let's see what else do we need to know about this. Also, for some of you, this could mean, you know, a child might be coming into the world. So this is definitely a possibility. Let's see what else. And the Ace of Swords. So something might be revealed suddenly. The Ace of Swords sometimes... Um, can be an unexpected idea or a surprise. Something that was unknown before um, might be revealed now, um, might come to light. And I feel like it's clearing away confusion. Uh, and when the confusion gets cleared away, you know, the cloudiness, it's like the solutions appear like magically. And I feel like this relationship, even though the two of you might be separated right now, but I feel like this is progressing towards stability. Maybe it's the underlying changes that are actually happening without... Uh, you being aware of it. So let's move on now to the next question and let's see what are what is your side of the story, Capricorn? What's your side of the story? This is the, the, the Knight of Wands. King of Swords and the Nine of Swords. So it seems like you're up in the head about something. It feels like you're maintaining your distance from this person. For some reason, I'm picking up on disappointment. Maybe they did something to you that, that was disappointing to you, and perhaps that's why the two of you separated. But right now, it seems like you're up in the head. You're being too rational. On the other hand, you are very attracted to this person, and sometimes it's like maybe you're switching back and forth between your ego telling you to stop and then your passion is actually wanting to drive you towards them. So sometimes it might feel like you, um, you can't really control your, your fire, your attraction, your chemistry with this person. It feels like you're switching back and forth between these two personalities. However, you are up in the head about something. Um, 
And this thought or idea, it could be even thinking or rethinking, analyzing the past, the past events. It's like you can't release something from your mind. It's almost like it's bugging you, you know, and eating at you. But um, it's causing lots of anxiety, lots of uh, maybe fears and doubts surfacing. It feels also like you can't trust your person. So let's get some clarifications here. What do we need to know about this Nine of Swords energy? And this is the two of one. So it's about a decision. It's either that you have to make a decision if you want to put more energy into this relationship or not, or this could be what you are sensing from your person coming towards you. Maybe they're the ones who have to make a decision. Maybe they are unsure of how to, to move forward with this, but it could also indicate that uh, there's distance between the two of you. So let's see what else do we need to know about the nine of swords. The Ten of Wands. So this relationship seems to be burdened for some reason. You might feel like you have been the one to put more energy into this. It feels like you have been carrying the majority of the burdens here. And um, for some reason, I'm getting a story right now that maybe you have been spending a lot of time waiting on this person. But for some reason, it seems like you put in more effort than they did. Or it might seem like that to you. So this is what I feel from this 10 of ones. Like they did not put in their fair share. Um, and, you know, because this is the 10, like it's the end of a cycle. Maybe this is why th there is separation right now between the two of you. Maybe this is what led to the breakup. So let's see why the King of Swords. What do we need to know about the King of Swords? And we have the strength. I just feel like you're afraid to trust. It's uh, like you have lost your faith in uh, the possibility of this ever working out. It's almost, it's, it just seems like maybe you have been trusting for a long time in this person. Maybe you have put in a lot of uh, energy. And um, for some reason, I just, I'm just picking up on that this person just sort of let you down. Um, let's see what else do we need to know here about these two court cards. Why are you switching back and forth between these personalities? That, you know, sometimes you're maintaining your distance and then it's like the passion wants to break through. And the king of swords again. So it's like you really are up in the head about something. I feel like you're really weighing the pros and cons of this relationship, of the reconnection. It feels like they're that you might be sensing there are a lot of disadvantages here if you do reconnect with this person. It's almost like, like I said, you can't trust them. Okay, let's just get a card to see what happened between the two of you. What can we find out about what led to this separation? And this is the Six of Pentacles. Mm, I am picking up on that. Uh, maybe you have been putting more energy into this relationship than they were putting in. So it feels like an imbalance of energies, imbalance of efforts. That, that's what I feel like led to separation. But um, let's see now this person's current feelings for you, Capricorn. Let's see how they feel about you right now. Maybe also the Six of Pentacles is about that you were wanting to commit and they weren't ready. Could that be possible that they did not want to commit? Okay, how do they feel about you right now? Love. This is the Lover's card. We have Page of Pentacles and the knight of swords it feels like this person is running away from conflicts it they are running away from when things get serious when things get tough it seems like this is the attitude that they have had here and uh, it's still showing up as far as their current feelings for you it's almost like when they start to feel their heart they would rather run away the knight of swords is a very unstable character someone who cannot be trusted and someone who changes their minds all the time, they might have a lot of ideas, they might be very talkative, but I feel like, you know, many times this person is talking about 
uh, other things, you know, other than their feelings and other than the problems between the two of you. It's almost like they want to keep the air light. And um, for some reason, I'm getting that they don't want to take responsibility for something. And then here's the lover's card, which indicates that they are in love with you. Okay, so they have feelings for you. But um, I'm picking up on a non-commitment type attitude, even though in the first row, when I was asking the tarot about their general attitude towards you or the situation, it came up that they want to commit. Maybe now that they have lost you, now they want you back. And I'm picking up on a Gemini energy here. So, but it could be another air sign. So Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, um, that's the type of energy that I'm picking up. Well, it could be anything, could be any sign, but this is just a general um, attitude here. And the page of pentacles, you know, um, the communication, the style of communication could be just talking about practical things, kind of avoiding the emotional aspects uh, or their emotional topics, uh, sort of. So let's get a clarification. What do we need to know about this lover's energy? Because the lover's card, it also indicates not only that they're in love with you, but also that they need to make a decision. Let's see what else do we need to know about this lover's card. So the four of cups, and it feels like they can't satisfy you. They know that they cannot offer you what you want right now. It's almost like they're unable to. But let's see, why are they unable to to offer you what you want. To them, it feels like you are dissatisfied. Okay, here we have the Eight of Cups. And that's because they're not involving their emotions. It's almost like they're avoiding feeling their emotions. And of course, uh, it's dissatisfying to you because you want to live from the heart. And this person seems like they're just not ready to do that. Um, let's see what we need to know about these two court cards here. And there are like many court cards now. And that could indicate that maybe they have multiple options, but uh, I'm just throwing this out there. It may not resonate for all of you. So what do we need to know about these multiple court cards here? The four of swords. So they're not talking about something. I feel like they're avoiding something that's important, something that really does matter here. I feel like they want to keep silent about it. And this person could also be dealing with some kind of an active memory, something that's actually separating them from their own heart space. Uh, it's, it's almost like an emotional trauma uh, that they had in the past. So it feels like the Four of Swords is not only about silence, is not only about avoiding a topic, but it's also about the need for this person to heal their own connection with their heart. So this is what I this is what I'm getting about their current feelings. Let's see what do we need to know about them, Capricorn. What do the love oracle cards say about your person, Capricorn? Okay, we have seems like quite a few cards here. Okay, four. Healthy choices, palm tree, talking, and engagement ring. So let's take it in order. Healthy choices, making healthy choices in love and life, self-love, self-care being happier. It's kind of like what I felt from this four of swords. They need to heal their own connection to their own heart. So this is a the healthy choice card. Palm tree, stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, and flexibility. And I just feel like they're running away from, um, from commitment. I feel like the stability aspect, the stability keyword here, it's like uh, it's, it's bringing up quite a bit of this harmony here with regards to, their, to your person, it's like they cannot stabilize their own energies. Um, talking, interested, conversing more, awaited message arrives, text, call, email, and hoovering. Hoovering is a type of emotional manipulation. And um, I feel like this person is interested in you. It's almost like they don't know what to do with that. They don't know what to do with that. So they wanna talk to you. They wanna keep you interested in them. Uh, until they figure out what it is that they want, really. And here's this card, engagement ring. Engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, and union. So there are two stories that I'm getting here. One is that they are in a commitment already, that they are in a committed relationship. Like I said, you know, there could be multiple options involved here for them, 
but it's, it could also mean that they are running away from commitment. It could mean that the fear of commitment. So take it how it resonates. These are the two stories that I'm getting. So let's now move on to the next question and see their probable future actions towards you, Capricorn. According to the tarot cards, what are their probable future actions towards you? The Three of Swords strength and the sun so the three of swords many times it shows up in my readings when there is a love triangle so there could be a third party situation here and um, essentially this could be breaking your heart if it's not a third party situation it's not going to resonate for all of you but then it could be a, a heartbreak due to a, a different reason there could be um just the disappointment it could be their behavior somehow they're causing you emotional pain just because they're running away from commitment and i feel like they're running away from commitment because they're losing their connection to their inner strength due to fears and when somebody is overcome by their their fears they lose their inner strength this card is giving the message that your person needs to um, control their fears, learn to deal with their fears in order to gain strength and uh, gain self-confidence. I feel like they have um, maybe issues with self-love and if they have that issue, they could be projecting this and they could be having trouble loving others or accepting love from others. So these are the type of emotional um, blocks that are coming up uh, from their side and the sun card kind of indicates that they're into themselves maybe their ego is very strong maybe they like attention and they like to be celebrated maybe they like to stand in the spotlight I'm also picking up on that they're very optimistic mm, but I feel like they're avoiding looking um, into the depths of uh, of conflicts and uh, maybe they try to hide these uh, they might try to hide the tension just acting all jovial and jolly and happy and let's not focus on the serious things type energy this is the, the the sun energy that's what I'm picking up on I'm also feeling a lot of Leo energy here from these two cards so let's get some clarification let's see what we need to know about the three of swords The king of wands, I feel like this person might have trouble controlling their fire, their sexuality, their passion. And for this reason, they might like to keep multiple options. Um, it seems like this person lacks confidence and from having multiple options around them all the time, uh, they they give them attention, they, they give this person attention and therefore they're kind of strengthening their ego, they're strengthening their confidence because they lack confidence. It's like they don't feel that inner strength. So they need constant attention from others. This is the type of dynamic I'm picking up right now about your person. Let's see what we need to know about the strength card. What is this strength about? Page of Swords. So as far as their connection with you, I feel like they keep an eye on you, but um, they're hiding their feelings, their emotions from you. They're afraid to connect from their heart. They're, they're not showing what's truly in their heart. And this is coming up as the future actions. Uh, let's see what else do we need to know about this. I feel like they do keep an eye on you. It's almost like they spy on you or something. I'm just getting this sudden change of heart all the time from this person. So I have a card that's actually popping out here, the two of pentacles. And I feel like this person is really debating between uh, should they commit or should they not commit? It's like uh, commitment almost brings them out of their comfort zone. So what I was going to say 
is that it seems like this person sometimes fires up with regards to you. Sometimes they appear passionately on your doorstep and they want to connect with you and the next minute they kind of disappear. It's almost like, like that knight of swords energy that came up um, when I said that they're acting unreliable and they might actually just disappear. They might suddenly appear and reappear in your life, but then they suddenly, you know, forget to even say bye and you, you, you can't reach them. So it's almost like they're doing this disappearing act all the time. Let's see what we need to know about the sun card. And again, in these clarifications here, uh, the king of wands, the page of swords, we already have again, two court cards and then the two of pentacles, all of these actually referring to that, the possibility of multiple options involved what do we need to know about the sun energy? The three of swords again. So I feel like the broken heart energy is here. Whether this is due to a love triangle or broken promises or not keeping their word, not being able to count on them, it's just here in their probable future actions. So I feel like this person just really cannot make up their mind about commitment. It's, I'm also getting that the past is repeating itself. So, all right, now let's see if this person had a message for you. What would it be? Capricorn, what would they want to say to you? Separation, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning and unsure of the future. For sure, unsure of the future resonates here as far as I feel this. Um, they are also thinking about you. They have you on their mind and it seems like their passion is driving them always. They're almost, it's almost like they're always on the go. They cannot stop uh, at one point. It's like they're not ready to commit. They're not ready to settle. It's almost like this is driving them into the separation mode. Let's see what else would they want to say to you. Addiction. Codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, has a block and a restraint. So I'm getting two stories here. One is that they are addicted to sexuality. Basically, they cannot control their fire. And that's actually what I was speaking of from this King of Wands in a way. Um, that they, they, they could be addicted to their sexuality. And um, the other message that I have here is that um, they're addicted to attention and uh, they love to get attention. And they're also wanting to keep you around so that they can get your attention. All right. So Capricorn, let's see where this relationship is headed. What is the next stage? Justice. Temptation is the devil card. And eight of swords. So the devil card showed up. This person is being controlled by something. Uh, it's either an obsession. Uh, they could be a controlling person, controlling, manipulative type uh, personality here. I feel like they try to manipulate you into sticking around them, into being in their energy field. And it feels like justice, you know, justice is about making things right. But I just feel like this justice card is blocked here in this combination. It feels like um, for some reason it's blocked, but uh, we'll get a clarification for, for that. So here's the eight of swords as well which is about self-imposed blocks and uh, restraints, fears and limiting ideas about oneself. And I don't know who this is uh, from, who, is it, who it's coming from. It could be your persons, it could be from you, but I feel like there is some kind of a codependent relationship going on between the two of you. This person, it's almost like possessive of you. And they might want to make make it seem like they wanna make things right. They want to bring back balance. It could be genuine, but it, it just feels like this obsession or uh, controlling um, addictive behavior is kind of uh, kind of making this justice go out of balance all the time. You know, the balance go out of balance all the time. And also the eight of swords. This is about uh, self-sabotage. 
So somebody is sabotaging themselves. Let's get some clarifications. Let's see what this justice is about. Two of cups. So I feel like they might use your emotional connection as a way to lure you in or as a way to control you or a way to keep you around. Maybe they keep reminding you of how much they love you, but I feel like their, their fears keep them away from connecting with their heart. This could be something that they're telling you. The emotional connection could be there. It, it's almost like they exaggerate it to make it seem like it's stronger from their side than it actually is or that then they actually are willing to um, get involved with. Let's see what we need to know about the temptation or the devil energy. The devil, it could also mean that the two of you have a very deep and intense sexual connection. What do we need to know about this devil energy? And this is the death card which is about transformation. You know, I'm getting that this obsession could end right now. It could transform. There's something that's changing about this relationship. That's what I'm getting from this death card. It could also mean that your relationship could come to an end if there is no change. It could mean that as well. But it could mean also that you could transform this devil energy and really feel the love that is there between the two of you because I feel like it's there it's just that your person is not using this loving feeling in the way that love is supposed to be uh, lived it's almost like they're making it into something else it feels like they are controlling uh, with these emotions they're, they're controlling you with these emotions or at least they're attempting to control you with these emotions let's see what we need to know about the eight of swords Some pretty heavy energies here towards the end, Capricorn. Let's see. The six of wands. So I feel like this person cannot get away from wanting the attention from everyone. It's almost like they're addicted to that. And this is what actually keeps them trapped. It feels like they're afraid of not being wanted if they stopped receiving all this attention that they're receiving right now. I, I really feel like they need to heal their heart issues, their heart consciousness, their self-love, self-respect, because right now they're drawing on other people's energy in order to make them feel important or make them feel uh, like they're loved and accepted. This is what I'm getting in general, Capricorn. So this is the next stage. This is what's coming up as a challenge to be resolved. And, uh, but I always say, you know, this is not an outcome. So don't take it like that. This is just what needs to be resolved in your relationship, what, what you're facing, the energies that are, are working, that need to be worked in your relationship right now at this next stage. And of course, once you resolve this, you can progress on to the next stage after that. So this is what I have for you, Capricorn, if you have someone on your mind, and I'm going to be continuing with the singles next. So Capricorn, if you are single or waiting on new love, let's see what the tarot has in store for you. Single Capricorn. Three of Swords. Six of Wands. And the Wheel of Fortune. So the three of swords is here because I feel like maybe you have something on your mind or some kind of a memory, a past hurtful memory um, in your energy field that's kind of keeping your heart closed. And it's almost like you're maintaining your distance from any kind of emotional connection. However, I feel like the possibility is there for all of this to change because the wheel of fortune is showing up. It's going to turn the tides here. The question is, are you ready to go with the flow, Capricorn? Are you ready to go with the punches? Because the Wheel of Fortune could be turning around the situation very fast. You could be connecting with someone who is a fire sign. 
an Aries, Leo or Sagittarius and you might feel like you are on top of the world in this connection. You might be getting lots of attention that feels so positive, that feels so good. You feel like you're victorious with this person but are you ready to open your heart? Let's see what we need to know about the Three of Swords energy because I feel like you are still upset about a past loss, maybe a past breakup or a past love triangle gone bad. So let's see, what is this Three of Swords about? The Nine of Wands. You have gotten tired of something and I feel like this is actually, this memory is weighing on you. You are tired of dealing with this. You're tired of remembering this. So it feels like it's ready to go away. It's, it's ready to be released. If you can do that, Capricorn. Let's see what we need to know about the Wheel of Fortune. The devil. So I'm actually picking up a Scorpio energy or another Capricorn energy. And also the sexuality might be pretty intense here between the two of you. So let's see what else do we need to know about the Wheel of Fortune. Temperance. And I feel like the emotional connection is going to be intense. Um, the emotional connection might be a little bit more slowly developing. Maybe the sexual connection is going to be um, way faster than the emotional connection. But I feel like that's also coming. Uh, patience and time are needed, though, in order for this to happen. And I feel like uh, the temperance card is also indicating that your heart is healing through this connection, Capricorn. All right, so that's what I have for you if you are single. And thank you so much for being here. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and see you later.